So for copyright issues, I had to turn the music off, but you could see me, I was half an hour late because I was working, but I have to say, I really enjoyed this class. Oh, life, life. So guys, I'm not quite there yet, but I still am very proud of how far I've gotten. So let me tell you, I've had nothings in there yet. I actually still haven't thought about what I'm going to put in there, whether it be flowers or some sort of veg. It does need more compost in there anyway. Um, in here, these are beautiful. These are like late blooming and I got these in little. They were just $3.99 for the two of them. My neighbor got me these sunflowers, so I'm dying to see how they go. I might actually break that pole in half. And these are the African lilies, so you're gonna be able to see a lovely white lily there. And these are beautiful, but I think they only flower every two years. So they flowered beautifully last year, but this year, you can see the pot is broken, I have to get a new pot. I have to get a few new pots actually, but it's not in the budget right now. And I planted some wild, um, there they are there oh some left some wild flowers for the bees so this will be really nice and um, this was given a thing i did with irish country magazine so it's really nice um, and then you can see that's like some shrubbery for the hedging and um, it gives me a little bit of privacy when that starts growing and um, yeah really happy with everything that's my mint i'm gonna start having mint tea um, I'm gonna go to the oh great day for the washing have them out there I'm gonna actually let me just talk to you I'm going now to the charity shops I have two big bags I'm after I'm going to give away like four coats and um, it's just that like they're a little bit wear and tear but some of them don't fit me and I'm just trying to minimal minimalize what I actually have in sorry what I actually have in my wardrobe right now so for every kind of three things I get rid of one thing can come back in so yeah I'm after getting rid of a few dresses and um, I just don't fit me I'm just not having them in there making me feel bad and that actually leads me on to my next topic which I will probably talk to you later I'm starting a whole lifestyle overhaul I know if you follow me on Instagram I've been telling you that I just feel quite worn down and um, 
and I'm really starting to take my well-being not just my financial well-being I feel like I need to be more present for the kids plan more be a little bit more organized and um, just put them back in I think after lockdown and um, it's been go 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 and I just really made me think that I do have a choice in everything I do and my choice is to put them first you know prioritize my jobs and literally like I'm gonna start doing a six hour day just and really like an intense six hour work day but I'm hoping that what that'll do is it'll have me finish by the time the kids are finished school or everything and crash that I could spend you know a good two to three hours solid with them without the phone without anything mad and just go back to the way we used to be because I was telling us last week that it's really given me I've been I've been really thinking about it and I think this is what really is success and I just have to work my ass off when I'm working but when I'm not just don't you know so yeah um, I'm gonna go to the charity shop now and um, I have a whole bike and everything that's going but I feel good that it's actually gone we only have what we actually need and what not just having things for the sake of having things you know I'm really sad we've had a casualty let me show you so the basket is gone just because it's dangerous and um, this is gone too the kids broke the top off it and I can't get the pump to work no matter what I did so we're gonna get rid of that I'm gonna get a new one to be honest because it's just been so good and um, just brilliant I'll be able to wash my car with it it's just so good I might even get the bigger size in it but I'm really happy I was really happy last year and I think for the usage that he uses with water it's been really good but anyway let me go to the charity shop and get rid of some stuff I have a communion coming up later today as well so a lot going on This is so much stuff that I have to give. I have jackets in there. I have Eliza's old bike that was given to me by my friend. So it's a little bit rusty, but I'm sure like somebody will find. She loved it. She didn't really care. Um, and I have some of her old clothes, some of Louis's old clothes, books, everything. And I'm just actually delighted to be able to pass them on. And I'd say you could do side hustles where you actually sell these on, but this is my way. Some months of just feeling good and passing the good stuff on you know yeah the like me all vans and all are gone ah Excuse my sausage feet, but um, 75.9. Okay, that's what I weigh right now. So, guys, the reason why. So, here's my outfit for the christening, and I'm very happy with it. Delighted with myself. I'm gonna put flip flops in the bag anyway because it's a christening in someone's house, so it's not gonna be too crazy. Um, I did weigh myself just now, but the reason why I did it wasn't even just to lose weight. I'd be delighted if I lost a few bits, you know. I, I think I could anyway. It's the, the heaviest I've ever weighed, but the reason why I would want to do this is because of mindfulness. Um, 
and the first thing I'm going to do next week in regards to get myself back on track is I'm not going to eat after 7 p.m. So that's going to be the only thing that I'm going to change about my whole lifestyle for week one, no eating after 7 p.m. I always find that if I give myself more things to do, if I say, okay, I'm not going to do this, and I'm only going to do like 500 calories, which, which I don't really like counting calories. I don't even like really weighing myself. I just did that because I wanted maybe to see a progress that I didn't really do anything mad, but you know, my clothes are fitting a little bit better and yeah because i don't want to throw out any more clothes unless i have to honey you know um but well, my clothes are fitting a little bit better and i feel more energetic and i want to see if that's going to be the change for me so all i'm going to do for the first week is i'm not going to eat past 7 pm so yeah i'm off to ellie's now i'm looking forward to having a few drinks have my flip-flop i'm walking home because tomorrow hopefully i'll be able to film the blog for next week phase because i think it'll be a good one i have some good ideas but hopefully i'll be able to do it but we don't know so stop promising things santas i hope you have the best best weekend ever and i hope whatever you do dress to impress love yourself feel don't let anybody put you down you'd see that i got a bit annoyed um, on my Instagram, don't let anybody put you down. Don't give them that power. If you wouldn't have them in your kitchen table, don't have them in your head. And yeah, that's the way I roll. Kids aren't here, um, unfortunately, but you know, it is what it is. Happy Sunday, have a blessed Sunday, and I shall see you next week for another vlog, vlog, vlog. <laughs>